Remember you were asking me if there was a yes. cat? This is it here. All right. There's also going to be a piece of uh, mesh or screen type material that covers the inside of that. This is the um, vent cap for your, know, your exhaust. So a piece your, of that's your in out tank. Or in your case, it'll be connected to the plumbing for your um, complex and toilet. Head. This is such a nice toilet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, it's funny because to so many people, this is such a taboo car. Yeah. So like, but and when you think about it, it's like it's so easy. Yeah. And and the conservation of water, Absolutely. the fact that you get longer time out. Yeah. Yeah. It's been used in the marine industry for for years, yeah. decades. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of them being sold now with the tiny house movement. Yeah. Tra travel tra travel trailers and RVs getting back into it. They'll also then use, once they've tested all the plumbing, um, all the standard plumbing, uh, uh, standard tests, I should say, they will do um, a rain test after all of the sealant has been installed. So once they went through and completely sealed the entire unit, all the seams, um, and that stuff has had a chance to cure, usually overnight, They'll then bring it into the rain booth and let it rain from the sides and the top. Um, they'll, they'll leave it in there for a certain amount of time. Not sure how long that is anymore, but um, they'll have a couple people inside with flashlights, opening cabinets, um, going down underneath. Anywhere that there's a potential protrusion, they're going to be checking for any type of water coming in. So after plumbing, most of the kind of meat and potatoes part of, it, of the build is done. And now they're really just finishing it up with your preferences like your flooring, your fiber, your fiber granite accents and things like that, um, your, your overhead storage cabinet facings, um, upholstery at the end, but and then of course all the way down to the graphics at the end as well. Um, but they do a number of things like they finish the basement um, and finish is exactly what it sounds like. The finishing touches on, on your travel trailer. So from here on down, um, I don't really want to walk inside the trailers, not that we want to hide anything, but that there's a lot of people inside and it gets pretty crammed. So from uh, rule of thumb from here on out, if you want to look inside, feel free to go up to the windows and, and if you have questions, obviously ask, feel free to film any of it. Um, and if there's something specific that you want to see, now's the time to ask me from here on out. And then, um, of course, you guys have been researching for a while, so I don't imagine there's too much that you... Um, not with, but something. like I say, if you have questions, let me know. And uh, what I will do is I'll open up things. Uh, this is going to be your finished basement, so if you want to take a look at that, it's got a light as well. And then of course your battery box. You can tell this is a, uh, a rare one that doesn't have solar, so they've just got the two 12 volt batteries. Uh, but nonetheless, you're still going to get the same slide out tray, same setup. Yeah, yeah. Just pull the two in and there you go. Pretty solid. noticed already but we you know thermal windows here uh, thermal tinting dual pane thermal thermal pane windows I've never seen one of the small ones yeah we've got we've got one back over at the sales office